Hey guys, I know the lighting is absolutely terrible right now and I just wanted to film this brief intro before I upload this video, but this video is going to be about Callie and her Instagram handle is myfacestory, so definitely follow her, but she's going to be sharing with you some tips about her acne and her um, experience with Accutane and using the Banish Kit and Banish products. And I felt like, you know, I have been describing a lot about acne, but my experience doesn't mean that everyone's going to have the same experience. And I never went on Accutane. So Kelly went on Accutane. And I felt like even though this video was done on our Instagram, um, on an Instagram live, and it's not like super well produced, I think it's going to give you some value. Um, because I know a lot of people subscribe to my channel because they have acne and skin problems. So I hope you can get some value out of the video, even though the quality isn't that great. And we have scheduled Instagram lives, Facebook lives, and YouTube lives and, and uh, shows um, that will be featuring Callie too on either Banish's social media links or on this YouTube channel. So um, you will be seeing a lot more of her and her story on the channel. And I just wanted to apologize about not having done um, videos in the past couple of months. I know people have been like, where have you been and stuff like that. Um, I'm still the same person. Um, a lot has happened. Definitely a lot, a lot has happened. Um, Banish has just grown so much this year where it's just you know, really throwing myself in and working on the business. And, you know, if anybody knows about making YouTube videos, they take a huge amount of time. And I feel like I've kind of, um, I have said a lot about the products and about acne and my story. And what I really want to create is a community of people who will also share their stories and kind of, um, advocate the mission of feeling good about yourself even if you don't have great skin and don't have perfect skin and I feel like it's not just me that can spread that message it's a lot of different people all around the world who can do that so that's why we're having Kelly do some of it right now um, but if you guys have any specific questions or video topics you either want me or Kelly to do then definitely comment them below and I will see you guys next time and don't forget I am still we're still going to be posting really good acne content on this channel, so don't unsubscribe or anything. Um, but until then, thank you so much, and thank you so much for being patient and supporting my journey with me as I am growing through my channel. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's so crazy how I've I've had this channel for, uh, since 2009, so it's coming up eight years, and um, yeah, I have grown and things have happened, um, and I definitely don't ever want to just leave this channel, right, because it is a part of my life, but um, I would like to also open it up for other people to share their experience so it can help you as well. So thank you all so much, and here it goes alive. And choking, and we'll see if anyone shows up. Awesome. Hey guys. Okay. So today I'm going to show you everything that I have been using, um, basically post Accutane since I've been able to treat my scars. Most of you, hi, most of you guys know that I have been using Banish Acne Scars. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that and then I'll, oh, my skin looks glowy. That is nice to know. And then I will also just show you some other stuff that I use. So I've already washed my face. And this is what I use every day. So this is like what people do, right? So yeah, I use this. I have really sensitive skin and this doesn't break me out. It doesn't have any harsh irritation. It's just like a basic face wash. And I've already done that, so. Oh, hello. After I do that, um, I use this micellar water, the Garnier Skin Active. If I don't use this one, I use the simple one with the green cap. I don't know if you guys have seen that one or not, but that one works just as well. 
Also, sorry that I look like a hot mess. I have literally been ice skating all day and my face got a little windburnt and you guys are saying that I look glowy, but <laughs> I don't think I look glowy. <laughs> like, do you see where it got windburnt right here? Oh my days. <laughs> Oh, someone asked me to say my name, so my name is pronounced Callie Kushner. Yes, I do get a lot of crap for it. People are always like, oh my god, Callie Kush. <laughs> and I'm like, no. So, I'm just using this right now. Because I feel like, even after I wash my face, I feel like I kind of need like something to take the extra dirt off and the extra makeup so that's why I use micellar water I don't like makeup remover I just feel like it's too greasy and uh yeah I don't need any more grease than what I have so I don't use it so yeah I don't know if you guys can see now or not but my face is definitely wind burnt um so that is my fault Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many comments, I can't even keep up. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. I don't use apple cider vinegar, but I will show you everything else I've been using. Um, what else? Hold on. Can't read. Accutane. So I'll do like a whole nother talk just about Accutane if you guys want. I can go like month by month and then also like talk about my symptoms each month, why I ultimately decide to do it, all that stuff if you guys want. Um, but for this one, I just want to focus on all my skincare. Tips for Accutane. Um, I guess just don't use too many products because I know you want your face to like heal up really fast and you kind of get impatient but just let it do its thing don't worry about it just keep taking it and just it'll all work itself out okay so I'm done with this now and so like I said since like October I've been using the starter kit so next I'm gonna use the charcoal mask that I posted before that I freaking love which is this bad boy right here so it comes with two masks uh, the kit comes with the pumpkin mask, which I use this one during the week. This one's awesome. Like, it seriously smells so good. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I use this one during the week, so I'm not going to use it right now. But I am going to use the charcoal mask. And I'm going to mix the elixir with it so that I get the added benefits. Usually I use coconut water, but I'm going to try this because I saw a couple people doing it. So, woo, that was way too much. Okay. Um, let's see, more comments. Uh, dry lips, uh, aquaphor, or... They sell the Vaseline in the little pots, and I like the one that's like rosy lips, so it has a pink tint to it. How to deal with scars. Um, I've been derma rolling personally because I can't afford any other treatment types right now, but it's the same exact thing as microneedling. So it basically tricks your skin into reproducing new collagen. So I'm using the charcoal mask right now and I'm just gonna put it where I have the most issue, which is all where my grease pots are. I know the technical term isn't grease pots, but uh, that's what I'm gonna call them. This is so weird because I have to like use this as a mirror. Am I so close to you guys? I hope I'm not making you uncomfortable. Okay. Um, a brush when I wash my face. So actually, I'm going to leave this on for about, let's do like 10 minutes. And I do use a brush, but I don't use it every day. I just have the generic uh, Olay brush. Because I think they all kind of do the same thing. Um, just my personal opinion. But I use it like once a week. 
what do I do for a living? Um, I'm low battery. I'm in school right now, so I go for criminalistics and fine arts. I have a double major, and I also have just like three part-time jobs ish. <laughs> So, not anything like for a living, I guess, yet. I just work retail. Let's just leave it at that. I work retail. No, the charcoal mask doesn't break you out. Um, so, activated charcoal basically will like suck all the oil out, and it's really good to get a deep down, like detoxifying clean. Let's see. Diet. Um, I think diet is pretty important. I know for sure that they just came out with a study that, um, what is it, dairy is linked to hormonal acne, so I try to avoid dairy as much as possible. I will admit, because I'm just a person, you know, if something has dairy in it, sometimes I eat it, so, you know. I do try to avoid it, though, because I have noticed my skin has been a lot better. I did eat Chipotle yesterday though, which is totally my fault, and I just got a ton of hearts when I said I ate Chipotle, and I did break out like right here, so, you know, it's, I know it's connected, but sometimes you just, you gotta do it, cause, how long to get rid of acne scars? Um, so for each person, it's gonna be different. For me, um, I feel like I still have some scarring, honestly. But to notice like a huge difference, I've been treating them for about three months, like I said. I feel like I'm noticing now. What else has helped my scars? Um, you can try organic like rosehip oil or just using vitamin C serum. Anything like that will help. The rosehip oil will help to fade like hyperpigmentation. Um, yeah. Uh, somebody asked again for dry lips, just Aquaphor or like the Vaseline and the Tiny Tube. I'm using the Black Mask. Somebody said why using Black Mask. I'm using the Black Mask because um, it'll help to get like deeper down and detoxify my skin. So right here, I have a bunch of oil and like, ooh, I just fell. While it's drying, you can see like the little dots in there and it'll like suck it all out. How do I struggle with redness on my face? Well, it's usually not this red, it's so hot. Like it's so hot. Um, but yeah, like I said, I went ice skating earlier and it was like below freezing and we were out for a long time and my skin is just so sensitive, so. That is probably why it's very red. My phone just messed up. Okay. Did I eat meat? Um, I do eat meat sometimes. Do I avoid oil? Yeah, I try not, don't try, I mean, if you can avoid it, then yeah. Don't eat things that are too oily because obviously that'll cause like an excess amount of like oil secretion and then it'll block your sebaceous glands and you just, just try to avoid it. Uh, Accutane, get rid of redness on skin. How do you get rid of it or lessen redness? It gets rid of a little bit. It'll get rid of like anything that's superficial, but anything that's like a deeper scarring, it's not, it's not really gonna touch. Somebody asked again which mask this is. This is the activated charcoal clay mask. Uh, hyperpigmentation is a part of redness, yes. How old was I on Accutane? Um, so that was just last year, so I was 21. Basically, my whole life my skin was clear and then I just turned 21 and it literally was like, just kidding, gotcha. And I was like, what, what? So, yeah. Have I ever tried derma roller? Yes. That's what I've been doing, and that's what I'll show you here in a bit once this just dries a little bit more. I'll remove this, and then I will show you guys how I've been using that. Yes, I do have scars. You can see, let's see. Do you see them? 
so it's literally like it's so smooth it's they used to be a lot deeper but since I started derma rolling like I said three months ago um, they have gotten a lot better I've noticed huge 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 improvement I got referred Accutane, so scared of side effects, depression, do you know any good alternatives? I don't think Accutane will suit me. Um, you will have to talk to your dermatologist. I would say if you haven't tried antibiotics already, then try that first before anything. Um, try changing your diet, tries, try, 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 try. <laughs> That's all we do, we have acne, is try, try, try. Um, try exercise, try relaxing. I mean, there's so many things you could try. I just, you know, I ultimately had to do it because it just came so fast and vicious and it was tearing my skin up, so. So acne scars will have like kind of a dent to them um, because acne, if you have like severe cystic acne, it goes so deep and since it's lingering on your skin for so long, it'll stretch out like your collagen bands in your skin. So that's why it scars. It doesn't really have anything else to do with anything else. Um, and hyperpigmentation is just like the redness of the skin. And I'm gonna like wipe this off really quick. Um, I think I have a towel. Oh my God. So of course I'm gonna use like the biggest towel. It's like jumbo sized. Okay, so I'll be like right back in literally two seconds because I have to go get this wet because, you know, I'm just very, very uh, prepared over here. Um, so I'll be right back. Um, yeah, let's see. Charcoal clay mask, does it make you break out since it's charcoal? No, it doesn't. Um, it actually helps with your breakouts. Did you see that? I was like, and sometimes uh, I actually like to use it as a spot treatment as well. I was on Accutane for six months to whoever asked how long I was on Accutane for. Also, I'm gonna warn you guys, like anything, anything I do to my skin, my face is gonna turn red just because I have like super sensitive ginger skin. So it's, I mean, it's just gonna keep getting red. I wish I was like one of those Instagram beauty people where they put the mask on and they take it off and it's literally like, <sighs> no, I take mine off and I'm like a tomato. Uh, okay, I've struggled with acne for three years now. I want to try Accutane. I'm skeptical and scared. Can you give me advice if I should do it? That is going to be up to your dermatologist and you deciding. Um, I would think if you've tried other things and nothing has worked, then, you know. But ultimately, you're just going to have to decide, weigh the pros and cons, and if it is ultimately worth it for you, girl. So now my skin feels a little dry, so I'm going to spray the elixir. This is usually what I do, and then I'll use the pore smasher. So this is the vitamin C beauty elixir, and this basically acts like a toner. And then I use the pore smasher, and this is just like icing your face, except for without all the mess. So this will help to close up my pores and then take away any inflammation and redness that I have going on, which, you know, I got, I got the redness for days. Um, somebody wants me to say hello to fashion day, so, hey girl. Any methods to remove redness? Um, if you're talking about hyperpigmentation, uh, try rosehip oil or the vitamin C serum, which is now the Banish oil by Banish is pretty good. I feel like I look like an egghead. We need to change this. There we go. 
I forgot to mention that you want to pop this in the refrigerator or the freezer for about 30 minutes. So I already did that earlier before I got on here. And then you can roll it on your face for about three minutes. Somebody asked if I had a boyfriend. Yeah, um, I'm actually married. <laughs> And people are always like, oh my god, what? But yeah, um, we've been married for three years. And I like him a little bit. Oh my god. Hey, Katie. Whip it. Uh, remove redness. Yeah, so just try the rosehip oil. Some things that help you get through the day about your feeling insecure with acne and acne scars. Well, I like that question. You just have to realize that um, acne and acne scars are only ugly by society's definition if like you think they're ugly. So however you feel about yourself is going to be how you come off to others, if that makes sense. So I never really thought that I was ugly and I never felt that insecure because I never saw them as ugly. So as long as you think you're beautiful, then you're beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to derma roll. And I like to keep it packaged until like the moment I'm going to do it because I'm like, super weird about germs. So since I'm going to do it now, I'm going to open it. Oh, and I forgot to add, so the kit that I've been using, it comes with the roller and it comes with a pen stamp too. Um, I'm not going to open up the pen stamp right now. I can show you guys if you want, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use the roller today. So every time, sorry, I'm like so awkward. Every time you use the roller, you want to disinfect it with at least 70% um, alcohol. So I'm going to use 91%. And I'm going to put it in this cute little Tupperware, this baby Tupperware that I got from Banish. And I'm just going to set it back here. So you just put it in like this, and then you let it soak for like five minutes. Five to ten. Dude, can you guys like really see my wind burn now? It's so bad. This is like the worst time to do this. Look at that. It's so bad. Um... I want to know what's better, vitamin C serum or retinol. I want to buy a serum for redness, but I don't know. Thanks. Um, I would use a vitamin C serum just because it's more natural, and that's kind of like now the route that I'm trying to go. Um, I feel like it just works better for scarring for the texture than retinol. Like, retinol works really well on, like, the fine lines and the wrinkles, but this combined with the derma roller is, like, amazing it just it completely smooths out everything and uh while we're waiting for that i can answer some questions let's see oh i need to plug in my phone too and uh let's see what are the ingredients okay i might have to go this way y'all I'm going to have to go like this so I can charge my phone. <laughs> okay, one second. Well, I'm just, I am so well equipped for this, let me tell you. 
Um, I think that we're plugged in and we're charging, maybe? Yes, so we should be good. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it, screw it, okay. Nothing has worked, I've been on antibiotics. Yeah, so then I would talk to your dermatologist about the Accutane. What does that thing do? So, good question. The derma roller basically tricks your skin. Um, it creates little puncture wounds small enough so that they won't scar. So it tricks your skin into reproducing like new collagen. And when it's used with the vitamin C serum, it makes it even more potent, I guess, because it creates like tiny micro channels that it can enter into. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Um, I currently live in Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said that my hair is nice. Uh, <laughs> you got jokes though, because this this is not not very nice. <laughs> Um, somebody asks what to buy. So yeah, basically what I've been using, what it's called is the Banish Starter Kit and that is what's been working for me. Someone said, how old are you? You guys are, wanna know all about my life. It's so weird. Um, 22. Should I use the Banish Kit if I still have acne? That's a good question. Um, so you can use the mask and you should get the pen stamp because with the pen stamp, you can go around the active acne. Um, unlike the derma roller, you wouldn't want to use that because you could hit the acne and then it would spread the bacteria and it might make your breakout worse. Pumpkin mask, yeah. Okay, so the pumpkin mask and the charcoal mask do completely different things. So the pumpkin mask will help to like exfoliate and brighten your skin. It is also good for acne. And then the charcoal mask will help to detoxify, detoxify your pores. Do you guys, can you hear my dog like panning in the background? Cause he's literally sitting right under me. Is every product I'm using from Banish? Um, yeah, <laughs> about like 90, 90% of them. Someone said, you are so natural. Girl, you are so natural. Natural as is. When I started derma rolling, did it break me out in the beginning? Mm, no, not really. Like sometimes, again, because my skin is so sensitive, I'll get a little bit of irritation, but it'll go away like by the next morning. You can put makeup on um, eight hours after, because someone asked, do you recommend putting makeup on after the treatment? So I'd wait eight hours and then you can do it. Hello, turkeys. Ah, oh, hey Cynthia, what's up girl? Um, let's see. I was on Accutane High School and never did anything for me. Still have scarring on my cheeks even though it has been years. Derma rolling. Yes, so derma rolling will still help even though it's been years. Um, it doesn't matter really what stage your scars are in. But yeah, it'll still help. The show. Okay, so now I'm going to derma roll. So I'm just uh, tap, tap, tapping. Tap, tap, tapping. Oh my gosh, Bear, you are making so much noise. I don't know. Think that you're like, I don't know. A bear. A real life bear. Let's get this like good light. There we go. So when you do it, you want to go in the same direction. Make sure your skin's like nice and clean. Go in the same direction four times. So I always go like this, then I go like this, then I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I do it diagonally too, cause I'm like, I really want them to heal. So I go like this. And then I lift and I go like this.
and you only need a little bit of pressure. You don't need to push down very hard. Somebody asked where I got it. This one is from Banish. A little BB. A little BB Banisher. I also want to apologize for my lighting. Literally, I don't think the sun has came up today, so I'm using a bunch of bright lights. I don't have fancy ring lights. I have like, if you guys can see it, it looks it looks pretty, uh, pretty makeshift. Okay, and I already did that way, so now I'm gonna go this way. And the thing about derma rolling too, that I've noticed, at least with my skin, is that it'll look 20 million times worse at first. And you'll be like, oh my God, what did I do? And then you wake up though, and your skin looks like flawless. I'll post a picture tomorrow, like as soon as I wake up. And you guys will be like, well, damn, that ain't even the same girl. Somebody said they're in Kentucky too. We should totally meet up. Um, active acne, does it have to be gone to use a dermal roller? Does acne come back after Accutane? I would um, only, again, use the pen stamp. I have two spots though right now. I'm using the dermal roller as long as you think you can go around it. And as well as acne coming back after Accutane, it just depends. Um, some people I know have done like three courses. Some people just need one. I still get occasional breakouts. That's not enough for me personally to want to go back on. I went on because it was physically painful. I remember one day I was sitting there with my friend um, and she like had told a joke or something. We were sitting in class and I started laughing and my pimple literally, my pimples popped open because of the pressure and my face was bleeding and I had to run to the bathroom. So for me, it was just the physical pain of it. Did I do this way yet? I, I don't even, I am so distracting myself right now. Don't be like me, follow the rules. And then you put vitamin C on after derma rolling. So I can't, I can't even remember what I was doing. I'm so disorganized. So I'm going to go this way now. Sorry. <laughs> I seriously have to get so close because I'm using this as a mirror. I probably look cray cray. Um, yeah. I took birth control while on Accutane. I have been taking birth control since I was like 16 though. Um, so I've just taken the same one the whole time. And I wanted to stop it after, but I'm just, honestly, I'm just too scared. But one day. Um, somebody asked if I had broken out since I've been off treatment. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. I break out usually around my period. Um, and then if I eat dairy. And then I'm just going to make sure I get my temples because I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I have some like little ones right there. Dude, I remember those too. They hurt so bad. It's like not enough to have acne. Like you, ha seriously, like you had to leave a mark. Like you jerk, I hate you. Um, derma rolling, no, it does not hurt. It literally like, well, my face is already windburn. So it feels like a sunburn on a windburn. Um, yeah, doesn't hurt at all. And this one's a 0 0.5 millimeter. It's also titanium. So if you're allergic to any other metals, this one would be a really good option. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna put it back into the alcohol. Remember, at least 70% so that it can disinfect. And now I'm gonna use the vitamin C serum. And this is really good to use after dermal rolling because it will penetrate deeper into the skin and this will help even more with the collagen reproduction. like the best setup and then I went to charge my phone and then uh... um, I swear I will figure this out one day. I don't know how people do this. I got it. Okay. So you only need a few drops. Again, um most people like put it in their hands but I like to do it like this. So I put one drop, one drop, one drop, one drop. And then make sure that your hands are clean. So I already washed my hands earlier. And then you just want to like pat. Um, and then for people, if you were wondering why I didn't do my chin, I don't have any scarring on my chin. Um, and I also have a couple spots right now because I just, you know, mother nature and stuff. A uh, charcoal mask helps with blackheads. The pumpkin mask will just help to like do an exfoliation and it'll help to brighten your skin. Um, yeah, you can derma roll all types of scars. So like boxcar, um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank, ice pick, there's another one. Can I phone a friend? Um, yeah, boxcar, ice pick. Oh my gosh, what's the third one? There's like a third type. And then like race scars too, yes, because I had a few actually like bumps and it helped smooth that out. And then after I do this, I'm gonna spray this again. This is the elixir just to like lock it all in. And that's it. I think I showed you guys everything. So the only things I didn't use were the pumpkin mask, which is in this, because I use this during the week, and then the pen stamp. Because I don't want, I just don't want to open it yet, because I don't know. I feel like maybe when I'm breaking out really bad, I'll use that. And then this isn't Vanish, but this is something that I've been loving lately. This is tea tree oil. Uh, by the body shop so you can put like a little bit on a q-tip I just put it on my finger and then you can see I have a couple bumps so I just use this as an additional spot treatment and it'll usually go away like by the morning I did that a lot faster than I thought Hey mom, I see you. What you doing, girl? Um, uh, where buy this stuff? So you can buy anything that's Spanish acne scars either from their Instagram profile, they'll have the link, or if you click on my profile, I have the link up right now too. Um, and I also have a code that you can use, which is just my name, so it's my face story. And that'll help save those dollars. Guys, like, it seriously kind of feels good. I know I look a hot mess, but I promise it feels so good. I said I looked a hot mess and I got like 20 hearts. You guys are like, yeah, you look like crap. Um, okay. Products for redness. Yeah, you could try the rosehip oil or the vitamin C serum, the vanish oil is good. Uh, foundation I use, uh, you know, I'm all about that derma blend. I love the derma blend. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like anything else has like as good as coverage as the derma blend. 
the smooth liquid camo is what I use. And my colors are linen and cream. Somebody asked about derma rolling. Do you press on it hard enough to know you're doing it right? Yeah, so you just want to do like a gentle pressure when you do it. You don't need to like scrape it or anything. Just, just a little tap tap. Uh, just got mine. Yeah, so seriously, like just enough to know like that you feel it. And also sometimes like it helps to like just smooth your skin out. Just pull just a gentle like. Yeah. I think you're great, so. Oh my gosh. So I feel like the best thing about this is that you just have to be persistent and consistent, all the assistants. So as long as you keep doing it over time, you'll definitely see results. You can't, just don't expect to like do it once and be like, oh my God, cause it'll definitely take a couple times. Um, all the banished things. Uh, so I do this once every two weeks. I wouldn't use the, don't use the drum roller every day. You need to give your skin time to heal and also to re reproduce new collagen. Um, so yeah, don't use it all every day. Do the charcoal mask like two times a week and then the pumpkin mask you can do like once or twice a week. I have so many scars and it sucks. I'm using derma roller. Do you think my scars will heal eventually? Yes, I do. Um, because, I mean, derma rolling is like proven to work so why wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah, girl, I think they'll heal. And you know what? Even if they don't, just, you're so beautiful. So, don't even sweat it. Um, old acne marks. Yes, just seriously, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Somebody asked if I'm still using Tretinoin or Retin-A. I'm not using Retin-A. Um, I was using it like every single night for six months and then my skin just, I couldn't take it. Like it got so dry. It did help a lot with the red marks. Um, but I don't know, like I said, I kind of want to start going the more natural route because I feel like that's the way to do things. Blackheads. Yeah, the charcoal mask is what I suggest for blackheads, large pores, oily skin. Somebody asked if you have to take um, contraceptive with Accutane, and so you're in Italy. In the U.S., you do have to take contraceptive with Accutane. I'm not sure how it works there. Um, let's see. Have you ever picked any of your acne out of picking problem? No. Um, which... I mean, does it even matter if I picked, honestly, because <laughs> it, so picking can escalate scarring, but acne scarring, I feel like, I feel like it's like 90% genetics. My dermatologist told me it's genetics. She said you could have one pimple and it could scar terribly. And then somebody else with a full face could have no scars at all. So it really just depends on your genetics. Um, I didn't pick any of mine and I still have scars. And I know, I know that people think that I picked mine because people have asked me about my scars. I just, the other day at work actually, a guy I work with was like, I have this friend that has a picking problem and how do I get her to stop? Like, why is your, <laughs> he asked me why my skin was like the way it was, like assuming that I picked. I didn't, I swear I did not pick because my mom, Hey again, Mom. Always said that if I picked, it would scar, but it scarred anyways. So, um, to help with your picking problem, I've seen people using Band-Aids. So, if you don't mind going out with, like, that Nelly 2000 look, then use a Band-Aid. Yeah, six months to treat my scars due to lack of healing. Okay, so after Accutane, you do want to wait um, a bit to treat your scars. 
My dermatologist told me six months, some say sooner, some say longer, but your skin is still so like thin and fragile that the healing time will be a lot slower. Um, so yeah, you want to wait. Oops. Okay, so the serum will work. Um, even if you don't derma roll, you'll notice an improvement in your skin. So I usually use mine when I'm not derma rolling. I use it at night before I go to bed because it's just like a little too thick for me. And then I'll use the vitamin C cream during the day. Um, let's see. What masks help with scars? I feel like they both do, honestly. Um, I feel like more than anything derma rolling is going to help with your scars just because like masks can only get so far into like the epidermis of your skin like the layer that needs to be penetrated they can only do so much i feel like most beauty products just like sit on the top um but dermal like will seriously just try it it'll help i promise so <laughs> My mom wants to know, what am I drinking in this cup? What do you guys think I'm drinking in this cup? It might be liquid courage. It might be tea. Who really knows? Uh, makeup on Accutane. Yeah, you can use makeup. Some people don't. Some people think that it like interferes with your skin healing. Whatever you, my dear, feel comfortable with is what I would do. Somebody said that my mom is funny. She is funny. Um, okay. Oh my god, dog. You are just so needy. Do you guys want to see Bear? Yeah? Maybe I can, like, pull him up here. He's so fat. He's on a steroid right now because he's sick. And he's just so fat. Um, best moisturizer, the Banish Oil or the Vitamin C Cream are, girl, they're good. They're really good. I swear. I swear. They're amazing. Again, I derma roll. God, I always go like this. I derma roll, um, once every two weeks. <laughs> 